Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos, but um, I'm going to a yoga class shortly and I need to prepare for it, but I have so many packages here that I wanna show you guys really quickly before I go. And I don't know what a lot of them are, so this is kind of fun. Okay, first off, what is this? Oh, this is kind of fun. So this is from Etsy and I just got a wallet. Um, I just got that like little Chanel card case and so I was like, okay, I'm not buying the Bottega version of this, but I'll do something that's kind of similar and I found this on Etsy and it's this like oxblood red color and it's just a little card case and I think it's kind of good for when I just like want to go to Lock Home or something and it's quick and then if I like it, I'll put the Bottega. Um, but I tend to do that a lot. I think I told you guys that before. I will... If I'm not sure if I want to invest in something, I'll like buy a dupe or like even like buy a vintage or something. Um, just to see. Okay, I think this is PR. Oh, it's Peak. Thanks, Peak. It's the Sun Goddess Matcha. I'm really excited to try this. I've heard amazing things about it. So, um, I am. I was excited when they reached out to send stuff because. I have been wanting to try it. So, love that. What's this? Oh, this is for my trip. I leave on Thursday for the Cayman Islands. And this is a little Joanna Oritz swimsuit cover up because I didn't really have a good cover up. This one's like kind of bright, but I figured. Oh, wait, no, it's not too bright at all. It's not nearly as bright as I thought it would be. Oh, perfect. It's so cute. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to keep everything, like, kind of contained. Okay. This is by Joanna Oritz, as I said. And it's just a little cover-up that has, like, cute little shells on it. Oh, it's so cute. It's perfect. Just what I wanted. Amazing. Um love that it'll be so cute in the Cayman Islands okay then I'm trying to be fast because Blake's well first of all I need to go I'm prepping dinner before we go to candlelit flow also it's a Super Bowl night and yes we're going to candlelit flow because honestly Blake has just kind of lost touch with sports and I mean I've never been in touch with sports but yeah okay. we're still good on time okay some of these are Blake's gifts so I'm gonna not touch those, but I got these for the Cayman Islands, which are by, which are by Saint Agni. So cute, I love. Like literally so adorable. So cute. So that's fabulous. And then But, uh, oh, I was not expecting it to be like this. This is from Sir the Label. And I was not expecting this. This is for the Cayman Islands too. But it's like a, it's a dress, but it's like kind of a weird, it's almost like a, it's a really thick fabric. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it on in a little bit, like after, because I want to try on all the stuff that my tailor gave or that my tailor like tailored for me but i don't know this one's kind of weird hopefully it fits and like works but it just seems like the fabric is extremely thick on it and i don't know how i feel about that so i'm kind of putting all of this together so that i'm keeping this real real dust these shoes in their dust bag what do you think these are for i don't know but i have a dress from saint agni that is so cute too that i really love um but yeah okay so there's that and then finally this one 
which I think is also from the real real. Actually, I know it's also from the real real. And the sun is already setting, and it's literally 420. Sorry, the lighting is kind of weird, but. Okay, this is one thing for Blake. It's from the real real and it's a vintage Miracle clip. I told you guys about it. And it looks great. Sweet. Okay, good. I think he'll like that. Then I got him. A reigning champ little sweatshirt and then shorts sorry I'm trying to be quiet and then for me from the real real I got this little Mateau I hope this fits. Mateau top. It's olive. Very cute. And then this skirt. I've been loving this print lately. So I picked this up. This is bigger than I thought it would be. I need to try all this stuff on. Um, and this is by the brand uh, Les Sirenews in Positano, Italy. Um, and then I got these mousy jeans. Ooh, super cute. I'm excited to try those on, but I don't have time right now. Okay, I'm gonna do my prep, and then after is when I will try all of this stuff on and show you guys, and then I'm also gonna um, show you guys all of my stuff that I brought back from the tailor. Um, also, this is my issue is that I'll literally do a closet clean out and then I'll get more stuff. But it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna leave all of this stuff, this mess with the tailor, right here, so that we can deal with it after we handle it flow. And then I'll break down those boxes and we're off. Blake's gifts, I wrapped them in recycled paper because. I didn't have wrapping paper and why not use what we already have. Hey guys, popping on to show you what I got from my tailor. I don't know why I keep referring to the tailor as my tailor, the tailor. Um, this sweater is the first thing and it's actually a little rag and bone wool sweater that I wear all the time, but it had these heinous leather sleeves. So I just had her cut the leather and then have it so that it has just like a little bit shorter sleeves because I'm kind of into that lately anyways. So that's the first item. Okay, the next top is this Kate top. Which, like, obviously I would not wear with these jeans, or these pants, but this is it. I think she did such a good job. Um, because the top was huge on me, and it wouldn't have stayed up. And now it's, like, I didn't want it to hit so high, too. Where, like, I don't know, I just wanted it to be like this. So, I think it turned out fabulous. Okay, this is a Paloma wool dress. Oh, Blake's putting on a Super Bowl. That I got from The Real Real. That was really um it was huge and this like part was not nearly as tight as it should be so she just like reworked the dress for me because she rocks okay and then everything else that she did is small like a couple different items but the except for these these were the base project they were silk pants that were huge in the waist too long and then you can kind of see they oh is that a run no it's just pulled um they have a seam right here and the seam was fully open so they were like so ugly and she just made them into regular silk pants for me so love it Blam. hi guys i'm packing or getting started the process of packing for the cayman islands so i figured i would show you guys a few different outfit ideas i don't know if i'm gonna wear this yet but i do want to take this dress 
but I had a doctor so I called my hair. Um, but I came out with this dress, but I did take it to my tailor and get it brought in. So I just kind of clipped the back and I figured it'd be fine because I'm going to wear it with my hair done anyways. But this is just a Mateau dress. Um, I know I want to bring it. I just don't know how I'm going to style it yet. An idea is with these brown little sandals from Revolve, but I don't know because I just don't know if I like them. I don't know. I mean, I love them. But I don't know if the brown is like island vibes. So I'm also going to try them on. Let's just stay on. With these, which I feel like might be a better option to bring because they're really comfy. They're Gia Borghini little heels. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like trying to have more of like a kitten heel collection because I've realized I don't like regular heels. Hold on, I'm going to pause this. Okay, definitely the ones on the right. Okay, next up is this outfit. I don't know if I'll wear it, but obviously this needs to be ironed, but I'm not going to iron it until I get there. These are G. Borghini, Mateau, and then this skirt is an Australian brand, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I don't know if I'll wear this. I haven't decided yet. My V-Day gift from Blake. I think you did pretty well. They're chocolate brown. They're so cute. The heel, I love it some roasted Roma tomatoes. My mom makes these all the time and they are so delicious. I've been slow roasting them for like four hours. Just took some Poshmark um, to USPS and now I'm gonna chill a little bit before dinner. Hi guys, happy Valentine's Day. I did not vlog last night because Blake and I were celebrating his birthday because his birthday was yesterday and he's out of town today for work. Um, so he had a really early flight this morning. So we kind of like celebrated when he went out this weekend and then we just ordered sushi last night. So super chill, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm in the process of packing. So I wanted to like break everything down for you guys. Cause I know I showed you some, but I haven't showed you everything. So we do have a washer and dryer at our place there. So, um, I can like wash stuff. So I'm bringing two divinities because I'll walk in the morning and like do Pilates, whatever. And I think it'll just be good to have those. Um, but I don't want to overpack. So I don't want to bring too many. Then this is just a little jammy set. I have this little Enza Costa tea or tank. And then this little um, skirt, like this is actually kind of cute together. Just like a really simple outfit. And then the skirt's just also good for going down to the beach. And then I have these linen pants, which are from Wilford Free. This is a Joanna Oritz little um, swimsuit cover up. So we've got that stuff. So that's my more like chill cutie outfits. Then I've got this Mateau tank with this skirt that I showed you guys. This Sir the Label dress. This Beckenbridge dress. And I think that's all. For there these are all for like nights to dinner this is a little Mateau dress and then that dress I forget who it's by but it's really good um you'll see it if you follow me on Instagram and then those two pairs of Gia Borghini sandals and then I'm gonna bring a pair of flip-flops to wear to the beach and then I'm also gonna bring um I'm gonna wear a pair of sneakers probably just like my on clothes or something something super comfy four swimsuits um and then bags but I'm not sure about bags yet my goggles Sun hat, socks, and then the Chanlu scarf. Everyone needs one. They're literally the best for like island nights. And I think I'm gonna grab a cardigan and then I'm also gonna grab my um, flip flops. But that's what we got. Don't worry, it's just pull this on down. Your girl is a little bit anxious, so you know what that means. <gasps> that's what I would do. I'm not kidding, it works. Then just put it all over. Some of you get it and some of you probably think I'm crazy but I swear I'm not even kidding you you just have to like jump and release I shouldn't have just put my hair in a claw clip or else I would do a real jump maybe I'll just take it down and I'll show you guys but I have been a little anxious but that's okay I just got my nails done and you know what I picked up my vlog because I was like fuck that I'm not gonna be anxious I'm gonna have a really nice night and I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole because if my fellow um, people who suffer with OCD would understand that if you start going down the rabbit hole, you never stop. <laughs> and then it just really gets toxic really fast. So I'm not doing it. Um, I am going to choose love right now. I'm going to choose going back to the practices that I know help me. 
and not the compulsive thinking and behaviors. So, yeah. I don't think I've ever vlogged when I've been um, down in the dumps. So, I wouldn't say I'm down in the dumps. I would just say I'm making a conscious choice right now to not entertain um, past behaviors. And we're gonna grab a little bit more fire so that we can get another burn on this Palo Santo. My mom always tells me not to do it with the stove, like not to. Then you go like this. So much better guys i swear don't think i'm a psycho you should just try it because it actually works and if you live near new york city you should go do the class by taryn toomey because that is like one of the first places i learned that the body keeps the score baby and trauma holds itself in the body and so a lot of times movement like that where you're just like shaking and releasing can be extremely therapeutic Another thing that I find really therapeutic if I'm like actually having a fucking meltdown is, um, which I'm not right now, but is I will just go back and forth, back and forth. And then you can kind of just put your hands on your heart. This is really helpful for especially me pumping my boobs. No, but it's really helpful, especially if you're having a panic attack, like something like that. Anyways. Oh, fuck. And then my claw clip got ruined. You guys see this is it coming in hot. I really thought we were done with the breakout, but no. There's just another one. Another one just came for fun. Um, but you know what? That's okay. Better now than when I'm in K-Man. Um, and also it's not called K-Man. My family just calls it that. But better now than when I'm in the Cayman Islands. And honestly, I know that the salt water is gonna help with like my skin just in general. Um, Cause it always does. It just like the sun and the salt water I feel like are so healing you guys. Like, oh my gosh. It makes me think I need to live near the sea, but not right now. Maybe, maybe in the future. Who knows where life will take us, but okay, maybe this will work. My, as the longer my hair gets, obviously, the harder it gets to put into claw clips. That's why I don't understand how Emily Kaiser does it. Like, she has a freaking head of hair and she still manages to really just like look so cute with her hair and claw clips, except she also doesn't have like, like she, I think she has baby hairs, but hers aren't like super fine. So I think that kind of helps her case, you know? Watching the new Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher movie. Later workout today because I needed a coffee. <laughs> Hi guys, popping on to end the vlog because I'm gonna have a really chill night and get to bed early and I'll see you in Cayman. But love you um, and thanks for watching. Hi guys, um, I'm popping on again while I'm editing because I just came in. It was like, it got a little cloudy and I was like, okay, this is a perfect break. I really wanna get this vlog up. So came in, edited it really quickly and I just wanna say, First of all, I'm so fucking grateful for you guys. I literally love you guys so much. I was talking to my sister this morning and I was like, oh, I just love my YouTube community. Like I love vlogging because I was like vlogging when we were going to a juice bar or whatever. You'll see in the next vlog. And she was like, I know you do girly pop. <laughs> she calls me that. And I was like, then editing the video and the whole time, obviously I had zit cream on because I had like a little breakout action, which honestly like the sun and the salt water does wonders for but um and the whole time I was like getting down on myself about my skin and I was like I don't want to upload this vlog I'm literally wearing zit cream the whole time because like I'm shameless about zit cream you guys like I will wear it like I just do not care especially like like if I'm going to get coffee zit cream I don't care like whatever I gotta get rid of these babies um not babies devils anyways um but I almost didn't upload the vlog and I just want you guys to know like we all have insecure moments, but I think what makes us grow closer together is when we don't guard those from others. Um, 
and that doesn't mean you word vomit all your insecurities on someone the minute you meet them but like I think that one really powerful thing in friendships which I consider as friends I like genuinely do um but one really powerful thing in friendships is when you can show your vulnerabilities and so I'm not saying like so that's why I'm showing you guys my zits (laughs) I'm just saying like I don't know like we all have our imperfections and I just think that it can help to make us more relatable and us to more to just develop closer and like stronger connections if we're willing to share them so yeah regardless I'm gonna go get back out on the beach I love you guys and we'll talk soon bye